it was gonna be a big surprise. They didn't know what was coming, and I, that, that's perfect. Like a different name, different <laughs> number. Like <laughs> I mean, that was the, I, that was the biggest surprise ever, and the results were good. Oh, I, I started thinking about today. Believe it or not, today I made the decision because I remember Coach Kimball used to switch people's numbers. <laughs> without telling anybody, and I just thought Joey! one of the advantages we had Joey! going into the game is, uh, you know, they didn't know we had a mobile quarterback, and the fact that he had a different number, they didn't, they couldn't figure it out. I saw him during pregame over there looking, and they couldn't, they couldn't figure it out. They didn't, they didn't know, they, they didn't know who he was. And uh, Austin Hall, believe it or not, he's on the JV. So, uh, and Austin Hall's going to be a good player for us too. So, it's no disrespect to Austin. It's just. You know, I just didn't think Morant looked good in 32, and I, I know that sounds weird, but I wanted to put him in a lower number. I just went out there, showed coaches what I could do, just waited for, a, I was patient, waited for my chance to play, and once I got that chance, I just showed the coaches what I can do. Connor, Connor Michelson's a warrior, but the, the decision we made was to go with a more mobile quarterback that, that could run, pass, and, and we felt like that, that we could run some, some of our older stuff. You know, you know that Coach Kimbrough and Coach Clark and Coach Brent used to run triple option, all that stuff. That's that's uh, that's like the greatest thing. And bringing that back to Plano, it's like a tradition. I think it was great. Yeah, you know, Wildcat and all that stuff. We said no. We're we're, we're making the change. And uh, we felt like the only way we could get him ready was to give him the reps. So we made a decision to make a radical change. Uh, and staff, we, we all talked as a staff, and, and we felt like it was something we had to do, and then I made the decision. Well, I was real proud of our defense because they stepped up when we needed them. There was some still some stuff that went on out there that was unchar uncharacteristic of playing football. You know, we had the personal foul there, which we had to stop to get the first down. I'll be honest with you, I give all the credit to the kids. Because, you know, number one, all the adversity they went through, they still had the confidence to come out here and play a pretty good football team. The other thing I want to do is give the credit to the coaches, the coaching staff. You know, I, I get far too much blame and far too much credit. You know, the coaches, the coaches are the ones. Coach Dickey did an awesome job on offense. Coach Stewart did an awesome job on defense, and all of my coaches, uh, because not only did we have to work on our scheme, we had to work on their psyche. You know, we had to we had to make sure. You know, and we told them that good programs love their players, players love their coaches, players love each other. And coaches love each other. We got that from from Gordon Wood, one of the best coaches from Brownwood. And, and we feel like as long as we continue to do that, even though we might we might get a lot of criticism, as long as we do it for the right reasons, because we love the kids and we love our job and we feel like it's our purpose in life, then we have a chance to be successful. Well, I'm not worried about the Wiley Pirates. I'm worried about the Plano Wildcats sitting on the snap count, not getting stupid penalties, being disciplined, holding on to the football, making catches. Uh, playing Wildcat football, and did we are we perfect? No, we still made some mistakes, but I think we I think we improved on it. You know, the thing I was also proud tonight, I saw some breaks go our way. Now I kind of got worried when they called that personal foul there and gave them the first down. You know, we talked about uh, Travis being in the garrison in the letter he wrote. You know, five five days before he died, and it really pumped the kids up because they realized, hey, this guy's fixing to die, but he wasn't going to quit. And he was going to fight for what he believed in. You know, and I tell the kids all the time, we're fight. We got to all have a. We got to fight together for a common purpose. And if we do that, great things are going to happen. We're not there yet. And I said that earlier. We're a young, inexperienced team, but we got a team that, if they'll ever get their confidence, and uh, you know, and we're not there yet. You know, we're still making stupid mistakes. But tonight, you got to. We, we took a positive step in the right direction. Play up, hey!